what's going on? Jack Draganzo, O Boogie here again, back for part 5 of me showing you guys my complete horror VHS tape collection. And like I said in the last part, in this part, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my Universal Monster tapes. And I love the Universal Monster movies, some of my favorite horror movies ever since I was a little kid. And I have a ton of Universal Monster tapes. So not only will this entire video just be... Universal Monster Tapes, but most of the next part, part 6, will be Universal Monster Tapes too. But in this video, I'll actually be showing you guys my complete Universal Monster Classic Monster Collection from Universal MCA Home Video. And just to give you guys an example, these tapes were released in the 90s, and they all kind of look like this. And this is Dracula, which is the one that I was going to show first anyway. And they all have this uh, basic design in the 90s. Um, Universal Home Video put out every single Universal Monster movie in the series. And these were just the tapes that I grew up seeing everywhere. I collected these when I was younger. And they were just all over the place when I was younger in the 90s. And um, this is just the way I remember seeing the Universal movies when I was younger and everything. So these tapes are just very nostalgic to me, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I just think these are just awesome looking tapes. I love tapes that have like a uniform look to them, like a series of tapes that have a similar look. Because when you put them on a shelf next to each other, they always look really cool. So let me just go through and show you guys my complete classic monster collection. So first off here, of course, we have Dracula, classic, Bell Lugosi, Todd Browning directed this one, just one of the all-time best classic horror movies ever. Not too much more I can say about this one because the performance by Bela Gossi is just so iconic in this movie that there's just not too much I can say other than watch this if you haven't seen it. Next up, we have some of the Frankenstein. Oh, actually, before we get to the Frankenstein movies, I have House of Dracula, which is kind of, this is sort of like a sequel to House of Frankenstein, which I'll be showing in a little bit. But I included it with the uh, Dracula movie because it's the only other Universal Dracula movie I have in the collection right now. Well, this one came out a lot later. The original Dracula came out in 31, and this movie came out in 45. So there's a big gap between these two. And before this one came out, I think Son of Dracula came out. Now I'm getting all like confused with the Universal monster, um, all the movies that they have. But um, just great movies anyways, but this is one of the movies that has um, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman in it, so it's one of the Monster Mash movies Universal put out in the 40s, and it's really fun, along with House of Frankenstein, just both of these are a lot of fun. So now we have the original Frankenstein movie, and just like the Dracula movie, Boris Karloff's performance in this movie is so iconic that there's not too much I can say about this movie other than that, that it's just one of the all-time classics and one of the all-time best horror movies ever made. And this one was directed by James Whale, who's one of my favorite classic horror directors. So this is just, this has always been one of my favorite horror movies ever. Really cool tape here. Next up, of course, Bride of Frankenstein. And this one I still have sealed, brand new. I actually bought this one for a comic books. Bought this one at a comic book store. And I kind of got, it was overpriced when I bought it. This was like 10 bucks, brand new. But I picked it up anyway. So this is the most I've ever spent on one of these classic monster tapes. was 10 bucks, But I figured since it was brand new that it was worth it. Cool stuff here. Next up, we got Son of Frankenstein. Any of you guys have ever seen Young Frankenstein, the Mel Brooks movie? That movie parodies a lot of the stuff from this movie. So this is, I consider this one almost as much of a classic as the first two Frankenstein movies. And this one has really grown on me. And um, it's one of my favorites in the Frankenstein series. Really cool movie here. Have Ghost of Frankenstein next up here. And this one is really cool too. This one has Lon Chaney Jr. playing the Frankenstein monster. Basically all the classic Universal guys, Lon Chaney, Lugosi, Karloff, all took a shot at playing the Frankenstein role at least once, which I thought was which I always thought was kind of cool. This one has Lugosi as Igor in it. 
awesome stuff. Right, and then Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. This is such a cool movie. This is the first movie Universal put out where there was more than one monster in it. And this is just such an all-time classic. Out of all the verses or all the meets movies, whatever you want to call them, this is just one of the best ever made. You got Frankenstein and Wolfman having an epic battle at the end of this one. And Bela Lugosi actually plays the Frankenstein monster in this movie because Lon Chaney Jr. is playing the Wolfman. A really fun movie here. Perfect movie to watch on Halloween. Alright, and then we have House of Frankenstein, which I mentioned this one when I was talking about House of Dracula. And this one brings all the monsters together. This is kind of a sequel to um, Frankenstein meets Wolfman. And this one also has Dracula in it too. Really, really fun stuff here. Next up here, we have The Mummy with Boris Karloff, another one of the all-time classic and best horror movies ever. And this is a unique mummy movie because this is almost more like a Dracula story, and it doesn't really have a mummy kind of, you know, limping around and strangling people. This one is a lot a lot different of a movie. It has a lot um, more of a different vibe to it than a lot of the other mo mummy movies that came out after this. And this is just such a classic. This is one of my all-time favorite Universal Monster movies and just favorite horror movies ever. One of my favorite Boris Karloff roles, too. And then this is the only Mummy sequel I have, and this is The Mummy's Tomb. And this one, who plays The Mummy in this one? Lon Chaney plays The Mummy in this movie. And he played The Mummy, I think, three times altogether. Right, and this tape here is actually one of my favorite tapes in this Universal MCA series, and this is actually one of the uh, one of the hardest ones to find out of the Classic Monster Collection, I mean. And this is Island of Lost Souls, and this isn't even a Universal production. I think this is an RKO production, but for some reason it was released in this Universal series, and for a while this was the only way you can get this movie, because there wasn't, I don't think there's an official DVD release of this movie. Recently... Criterion Collection put out a Blu-ray of it, which I own now. Awesome, awesome Blu-ray. But I still really love this VHS tape. And this is one of my favorite horror movies ever. Just such a cool, cool movie. And Lugosi has a uh, like a small role in this movie. And this is just such an awesome movie. Highly, highly recommend this one. If you guys have never seen this, it's one of the best. This is based on the classic um, Dr. Monroe story from uh, Dr. Maru, or whatever it is, story from um, H.G. Wells, so really cool stuff here. All right, and this is actually another H.G. Wells story. I didn't even realize I had those next to each other on my shelf. This is The Invisible Man. This is another one directed by James Whale, like I mentioned, one of my favorite classic horror movie directors. And this is just an, uh, not, like an outstanding movie. The special effects in this movie, I think, still look good to this day. Some really well done effects to make uh, Claude Rains look invisible in this movie. Just just an amazing movie for its time. Really good stuff here. Alright, and then we have The Raven. This has Bela Lugosi and Boris Karloff in it. And this is one of the best. This, along with The Black Cat, is one of the best Boris Karloff, Bela Lugosi team-up movies. In any movie, just like with the Hammer movies, um, with Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, any movie that has Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi in it is just going to be a great movie because they're just such good actors, both of those guys. The Raven, slightly based on the Edgar Allan Poe story, poem, I would say. This is Werewolf of London, Universal's first werewolf movie. Not quite as iconic as the Lon Chaney Jr. The Wolfman movie, but I still think this one is really, really good. And then we have the Lon Chaney Jr. Wolfman movie. And this is one of my favorite Universal Monster movies. It's a really, really cool movie. Bela Lugosi is also in this one. And I think Claude Rains is in this one too. So this just has a lot of really cool Universal Monster actors in it. And then again, just another iconic performance here. 
Right. So next up here we have the Phantom of the Opera, and this is the um, the one that was released in the um, 40s with Claude Rains in it. Yeah, 1943 with Claude Rains. So this isn't the classic one with Lon Chaney Sr. in it, the silent film. This is the uh, the color remake from the uh, 40s, and this is a really really well done movie too. It has some really grand like musical scenes in it where when they're in the opera house and all that. Just a really, really good movie here. Can't go wrong with the uh, Phantom of the Opera. And Claude Rains is just one of the best, too. So he also played the Invisible Man, and he does a great job in this one, too. And then last for this video is good old Creature from the Black Lagoon. And this is another one of my favorite Universal Monster movies. This one came out in the 50s when they were focusing more on, like, sci-fi type movies. And this was kind of the last out of all the Universal Monster movies were the uh, sci some of the sci-fi ones that came out in the 50s along with the Mole People and This Island Earth. Just a really cool movie here. But that was it for my Universal Monster Classic Monster Collection. And like I said in the next video, I have some more Universal Monster VHS tapes to show you guys and some more classic horror stuff. So I'll see you guys in that video.